Welcome back to another episode of Video City TV. I'm your host, Callie Ann, and today I'm with Mike Kendream. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you guys having me, and I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Doug, Doug just messed him up because, you know, the man behind the camera said that this is his second time here. So he's like, welcome back. So he said, I'm glad to be back. But yeah, so he's talking to all of us right now. So Mike and Jim, this is your second time back on the show. What has changed and what has progressed since the last time you were here? Oh, um, well, one, we were in COVID the last time oh. I, we, we, I was on the show. So that was so like that four years ago? Because it's 2024 now. That was 2020? I would say like three. It was like when it was winding down, but people were still like wearing the mask. Yeah. So life was still a lot different. But I would say um, I've grown a lot more. Um, I've experienced a lot. I'm a lot more happier in my life. I uh, feel more complete. And I feel a lot more fulfilled and fulfilling. Wow. Okay. So what is the difference? Like, how did that happen now? Like, did you, what did you do to change that? Um, well, one, I finally got my certification for teaching. So I'm a full-time fledged teacher now for pre-K. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Teacher. Appreciate it. Um, tr been traveling a lot more. Um, the music has been really popping. I signed my deal with Equity Distribution, which is an umbrella under Rock Nation. So that was life-changing. Um, performing with artists like Joel Santana, um, opening the Yonkers Hispanic Festival, and like the BET Awards, and just really enjoying the fruits of my labor and my work. Yeah, that's so exciting. So you had to have gone through so much as an artist to be where you are now. What was that pivotal moment for you? I would say the pivotal moment for me in my career was actually during COVID, um, where my song Fly Talk that we'll be showing today, it got premiered on Power 105 okay. and that just really set the floodgates. That's when I got to work with Dave East. I was on one of his mixtapes, then we got to go in the studio and work and now it's like, he's my favorite artist and now he's like a mentor to me now. So it's like, wow. it came full circle. Wow, that's amazing. How did that happen? Um, he was just doing like mixtapes for up and coming artists. I signed up for it and then I was just very persistent. He's my favorite artist from all the artists of today. Um, I look to I look up to him a lot when it comes to his storytelling and messaging, especially the way like he's a father with his daughter. And I was just very persistent and then I got in touch with his management and the rest is history honestly yeah. after that. Is that the secret? Persistency? Persistency and faith. And faith. Wow. Okay, Mike can dream, y'all. All right. So, why is your name Mike can dream? Um, I've been. I was very known um, in my childhood as the worry child. I had the big dreams. I wanted to play basketball first. Um, in college and high school, I was able to do that, but I got hurt trying to play for the trial for the G League. So, after that happened, because I've been writing poetry since I was young, like 11 years old. I've always been very keen on the English language and just very romanticizing like and just want to tell my story and then shout out to my brother he's the one that came up with the name he was like why don't you just do something like Mike can dream I think we were eating McDonald's or something and then saw the MCD and it just it was like a full circle moment I don't know I can't really explain it it was cool though yeah I love that but you have an R on is that an R yes what is that? for Rough Riders shout out to Rough Riders DMX okay. RP to DMX the locks yeah, all right. Sure, so how long have you been doing music for? Now you started at 11 years old when you first started writing your poetry. Yes, um, I would say fully it's been for about almost 13 years because I was in the band. I played the drums, the bass, guitar, um, all the way to high school. Too. Yes, I'm very multifaceted. Um, but I didn't really get into music and rapping till I would say college. So for rapping, it'll be about six years now. Okay, so when it comes to your music, do you also produce since you play all of these instruments? I do not produce. I'm trying to get into it, but I realize that's just a skill that I do not possess, and I'm not afraid to say that yeah. and admit that I do need the help doing it. So I go to the studios all the time, uh, but I have a drum set at home. I'm trying to learn the piano. I'm very, like, very into, like, the old soul kind of music. Yeah, wow. Okay. What was your upbringing like? Were you surrounded by a lot of music in your household? Yes. Yeah, so in my household, there was a lot of Spanish music. Um, I'm Puerto Rican, Dominican, so everywhere you go on Sunday, you know, your grandparents are blasting Spanish music. Yeah. Um, we had the congas out playing in the living room. And then going into high school, like I said, played band from 6th grade to 12th grade. 
we got the chance to perform like at the Barclays Center, Madison Square Garden. And the way I look back at it now is that it's very, I was very fortunate because the average high school kid doesn't get to experience that kind of stuff. So it's, it's interesting that music's always been in my life and an impact in my life. Yeah. But it took me like till college to realize I want to do this full time. Yeah. Yeah, but you have gone through so much and had so many successes throughout the years because of your yes. persistency. Yes, of so course. So what would you say is your biggest challenge when it came to music, and how did you overcome that challenge? I would say my biggest challenge was just realizing that no matter if I had support or not, um, whether I'm alone or with a group, I just got to every day wake up that I'm hungry and I want to be number one on top. Um, that was a struggle at first because... I'm a very family-oriented person, and I had to learn that sacrificing was a big part of the journey, whereas, like, I had to sacrifice family time, social time, and really just lock in every day. Like, I, w I when I started, I was in the studio 11 hours a day, six days out of the week. I would go to school and then go right to the studio till 3 in the morning every day because it's just what I wanted. I wanted to do this. Also, just to show my family, my younger siblings and my cousins, you could do whatever you want to do. You just got to put in the work. Yeah. Wow. What was your proudest moment? My proudest moment, I would say, was signing my deal the same day I graduated college. Wow. That was a, that was a very interesting day. And just going to the Rock Nation office and, like, meeting someone like Kelly Rowland after I signed my deal, it was, it yeah. was amazing. And then getting my diploma, it was, it was worthwhile because I fulfilled it for myself yeah. and my mom. So that was two. They say things come in three. So what was the other one? Ooh, the other one? Do you one? remember what it was? Because you graduated college, you got the deal. What was the other one? I would say probably um, it's the most recent, um, getting confirmed to perform in Toronto in October. Okay, I so was, that's coming up yep, this, this year. It, yep, this year in October we'll be going to Toronto for the first time. Before that we're going to Hawaii. And then this month I have 13 shows for the Day Summit Music Festival okay. all around New York City. Okay, so we have shows coming up. That's oh, yeah. super exciting. Make sure you guys follow Mike and Dream's journey so that you can be a part of it too and watch the growth from there. Dream with us. Yes, you got to dream and be part of the movie. Yeah, what, what is your slogan? You have a slogan? Um, I'm MCD, the wild prodigy. I come from Yonkers, New York, city of legends. Oh, um, shit, okay. Right, right away, shout out to Jada Kiss and all them. A couple more of my mentors. Um, I'm just very happy and thankful for everything, like, yeah. even to, like, do this kind of stuff. Like, the average person from where I'm from doesn't get an opportunity to do this, so yeah. I'm very fortunate. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, right now, what else do we have going on besides the toys? Because it, it feels like you have a lot going on, and we want the tea exclusively here on Video Exclusive? All right. Well, exclusively, I'm fully an uh, artist manager now. I actually have one of my artists with me. Shout out to Mark Ant. Um, I've been doing that now for four years. I have my own label now, fully, while the label. It's with seven artists. Um, I'm about to sign my first management deal with Takeover Republic. We're webbing them. They work with, like, A Boogie and Fabulous. So it's very exciting for me. Um, I'm going to be traveling to Puerto Rico for, for the first time in a long time, doing interviews out there, Hawaii. Um, uh I just signed a new deal modeling jewelry with King Ice. So I just got a lot going on, and I'm happy. I'm how, happy. how do you find the balance? Because you're a preschool teacher, too, so you have, like, 20 kids um, every day. <laughs> so, like, about 18 to 20, yeah. I would say, I tell people, it's not really a job to me. Like, I love waking up in the morning. I don't like waking up at 530. I'll say yeah. that. But I love doing what I do, going to see my kids. And then how I balance is like the weekdays. I pick certain weekdays where I'm going to do stuff with the music. My Saturdays and Sundays are devoted to my music. But then also I try to make sure I have time with my family as well during the day. So like my music life is more in the nighttime. Yeah. Wow. To try to balance it out. Yeah. I feel like that's when my creativity comes out too in the night. Exactly. Yeah. I don't like recording in the daytime. I don't know why. It's just something about the nighttime. Like it's just the vibes are different. The auras. Because everyone's quiet and everything is like still and you're in the studio and it's exactly. just you and then it's like with the led lights around it's like you just feel infused with like that creative energy mm -hmm. and i don't know that's just me i'm a, I'm a night owl i yeah. don't know i like long hours yeah wow what advice would you give to your younger self advice i would give to my younger self wow um your dreams are not as far as you think mm. continue being the level the 
bubblegum, lovable kid that shows love to everybody and doesn't really care what people say. You love what you do so much that you're willing to go through a brick wall for it. Wow. And what advice would you give to your kids, the pre-Ks? To my, to my babies? Ooh. To your babies. To my, to my babies, I would tell them, just be genuine. Don't stop being yourself. Don't stop being goofy. <laughs> Don't stop being funny. Um, and just enjoy your youth. That's it. I would tell them, like, just enjoy being a kid. That's it. Like, Aww. Well, what do they call you? Mr. Mike? Yeah, Mr. Mike. I don't like the last name thing. I don't know why. I was like, Mr. Mike has a better ring to it. It does. So I was like, no, we'll go with that. And then it's funny. Like, one of my kids, the mom told me that they call, he calls them me on accident. Just because he's so used to it. Now, he'll oh. call his mom and be like, Mr. Mike. He'll be like, oh, wait, mom. Aww. So I'm like, I like seeing the impact that I have with my kids. Yeah. So this is the first year that you've been doing the pre-K? This is my first official year teaching. Before that, I was um, doing, I was being an assistant for three years. Yeah. So, but I've been part of this education system now for almost five years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And what does your shirt say? I'm curious. Um, it's from a brand called Since 1987. So it has the whole 1996 um, NBA draft class. Ah, Allen Iverson, okay. Stephon Marbury, Kobe Bryant. Ray Allen, who else we got? Steve Nash. And yeah. then I had to bring out the bad boy, Biggie Jersey, mm -hmm. and everything like All that. Red. Yeah, I got to be <laughs> red and fly. We're from New York, so you got to be fly. Hey. So I want to talk about your music video that we're about to okay. show them, Fly Talk. What is that about? Because that, that's what we were just having now, the Fly Talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, it was the first record where I felt like, because I'm a humble person, like I'm very grateful, but I felt like that was the first song where... Yeah. I really had a full circle moment of I could be humble, but I've done so much. Why don't I just explain that? Listen, I got my resume. My resume is what it is. Nobody could touch my resume. And I just wanted to speak out from the heart. Like, I'm going to poke my chest out. I'm going to yeah. I'm gonna enjoy celebrating my life because I have a very blessed life. And just talk and fly. Like, you know, like that, it, it's the New York talk. anthem. I like that. Yeah. Having gratitude is fly talk. And that's. That's who you are. I try. Fly talking. So make sure you guys fly talk all the time. Have gratitude. Be Always. Be grateful and be open to what's going to come your way, right? And then you're going to be blessed. Exactly. So. Have no expectations in your life. Dream and have no expectations. Just take every day like you're enjoying the moment. Yeah. And this is Fly Talk by Mike Can Dream. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Where it was like, man, this ain't going to work. Or, you know. That's why I call my thing the marathon because yeah. I, I'm not going to lie and, and, and portray um, this ultimate poise like I've been, had it figured out. No, nah, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or mm -hmm. went through this or is going to go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through mm -hmm. every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that what what going to separate whoever's going to try to go for something is that you ain't going to quit. You know, you're going to really take the stance if I'm going to die behind what I'm, what I'm getting at right now. Go big or go home. You know who get in the ball, man. Uh. Living my life at one moment at a time. Can't believe greatness just coming from rhymes. Damn, I can shine. Damn, I can shine. Not just the mic, but my chains are so bright. My watch is just diamonds galore. MCD teamed up with gems. I got me the head of the board. CEO status just coming to home. The nine is my throne, my baby, my soul. Messing with niggas who brings it just poor. That move I'll never invest in, no. Coming from hospitals, illnesses, critical surgeries. Making me feel like experiments. I just I never feel whole. Thankfully, mama just made me feel warm. Tony just bust you with knowledge on roads. Now I'm driving in Benz's big body presence. I'm just said it's the never hype. Getting my baby girl came and I'm feeling blessed. There are on some magazine fly status. I am a god in the making, don't try to attack. Greatness. Stay up on corners while I fly to Paris. After just coming from France, it's smoothie gate fine. My life is so healthy, lame stay Damn, I can shine, damn, I can shine. Living my life on one moment at a time. Damn, I can shine, damn, I can shine. Living my life on one moment at a time. I'm just so fly, baby. I'm just so fly, baby. I'm just so fly, baby. Yeah, damn, I can shine. Woo! Life is a prize, but also a lie. Teaser with drives, but make it just jelly. 
Nigga, got people who make it big, never supported their anger, they hoard it. I'm tired of caring for what's not heroic. Why else my kingdom? I'm trying to soul. Last time we made it past kings was just woes. My mother was friends with them, Gorda and Bro. Right Signed up with bad boy, the locks with our loads. Now nah, it's time for the change. I'm making the claim that MCD talent is right for the rain. I went from a scrub to being the god. The girls all just love. I know that they fake. My baby, she got me feeling her heart on my own. Baby, I see I fate. Samantha, Amanda, my riders, I know they ain't liars. Two baddies and sisters, I love you. I made me feel safe. Now, moving towards bags, riches, and fame. Cleansing my soul of toxins and pain. Don't carry no dead weight. Boss up a gallop, that's my pace. I promise I'm making my city the biggest. If only so many support it. So stop hating on me. That's fly. MC. Hey y'all, it's your girl Luna B, coming back with the Video City TV Countdown. First song we have is out of Fort Lauderdale, coming from Here to King. The song is called Fly Away. Let's hear it, y'all. <laughs> A beast in the middle between peace, love, and tranquility right. Ain't no stopping this I have my nail through your esophagus It seems to be the blueprint How to build a new metropolis I'ma play the game Found a shoebox full of cartridges True remain humble Transform like I was optimus We prime Moving slicker than slime Watch me travel through time Truly one of a kind Flying birds, super lines Lucid minds They shooting blind See crucial signs Let's redesign the falling crime Put your foot in your mouth That's to whomever doubted Nigga, I can spot a snake in places overcrowded. Kick up a track for this plate. I'm a child hound. The rap come food master. Nigga, bow down. Roll like thunder. Awaken spirits, I conjure. This is an amber alert. I knew that Stevie would wonder. I felt like I was trying to leave it. Current taking me under. Never stop believing. Made a path through the jungle. Made cushion on the ground if I mistakenly stumble. I'm a full package, it's a lyrical bundle. Like this sizzle from an open soda. Moving like a locomotive. Cold like a North Dakota. Murder rappers know the motive. Mix it telepathy, mix the recipe, ecstasy. Loaded referee specialty. Music needed me desperately. Carving my name in the stone. This middle rings I've blown. This themes is dreams of thrones. Diminished leans of loans. There's no gravity in this outer realm. I'm flying in. I'ma drop the rope, tie the knots, help them climb in. Help climb up. Resecure the gate. With an iron fist, this is chemicals in a lamp, and I'm the scientist. We're gonna take it down today, so what you gotta say? Ooh, this is we ain't come to play. Get the fuck up out the way. Get the fuck up out the way. Put your face in the flames, get burned. You should take notes, it's a message you can learn. Or you can fly away. Fly away. Nigga, you ain't gotta tell me I'm the shit I'm stankin' in the bitch Whoa. That's why I keep my motherfuckin' toilet tissue thick Thick, 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 thick Let's call me toilet tissue rip I'm uh. Mr. All About His Grip Fixin' the floss on the bitch I often sit in the caddy to feel The way I chill Motherfuckers actin' how does it feel How does it feel? movin' in the motherfucker Cooler than you other sucker I'm a magician with the bitches Make them lose you busters Who's the buffers? None of you niggas Stitch out my grip and sit And count the fun of you niggas We in the up by 50 shit We skunk you niggas like damn <laughs> What the fuck we done to you niggas So now it's on to the next shit oh. Don't disrespect uh -huh. bitches R.I.P. and hero G Shining like a necklace yeah. Declining in the text oh. Bitch get your mind right. Rocks in the watch And let you niggas know my time's right Don't bring it down and nah. So what you gotta say Whoa. This shit we ain't come to play yeah. Get the fuck up out the way Whoa, nigga. Get the fuck up out the way Hey y'all, it's your girl Luna B, your favorite Pisces with the problem, and we are here with a little Philly legend, okay, a dying piece, Rhea for real, look, I look good standing next to her, don't I? 
Oh, come on now. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Period. Now that's tea. Yes. So I need to know all about you because, like, we're in New York City and we need to know all about the Philly flavor because I know y'all got it lit out there. Yeah. So please tell me about growing up in Philly. Tell me how you got it popping. Well, long story short, um, first, I'm from Narstown, Philadelphia. Okay. Um, being as though I say that because I had my mom I was living with in Narstown and then I would be back and forth from my dad in Philly. So okay. it was like I was al always alternating, like, cities. And okay, towns. yeah. But um, yeah, I come from a musical family. My mom's a oh. singer, my uncle was a rapper, my grandma was a singer in the church, everything. So. Oh my god, I yeah. like that. So music comes in your blood. Yeah. Like that's like in your in your soul. Mm -hmm. Like I really like that. So yeah. tell me like, you know, growing up in a musical family, how was that? How did that develop you as a musician? Well, honestly, I started making music when I was 12. Oh, and um, a young and I love it. At the time, I wasn't really confident in my sound. Okay. I wasn't confident in my voice. And overall, I just didn't have the confidence. So I kind of stopped making music. And I went into choreography. I became a choreographer. Oh. And I just picked back up music like a year ago. Oh and God. I took it professionally this time. So you're a singer and you're a dancer. Yeah. Like, that's, a, that's a threat right and there. And actress. Yes! Triple threat. Y'all are here first. Rio for real. <laughs> uh, triple threat. OK? See, I like that. Yeah. So tell me about your choreography, because like we can't skip past that. That's oh, amazing. Oh, absolutely. No, like, no, no. Tell me about your choreography, because that's amazing. Um, well, so like as far as choreography, uh, normally I would train and like classes, I took a lot of classes, um, train, train, train. And then at one point I just wanted to branch off and you know, start teaching my own classes. Yeah. I teach heels. Okay. So, uh, so you I decided, a heel. Yeah, I decided to take it I decided yeah. to teach my first heel class. It wasn't successful, it wasn't. And then I just kept going, and See? it started growing and growing and growing. Well, it was successful because I feel like if you were able to grow from it, then you yeah. know you learned something. You were able to you know develop something afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, you're successful. Come on, <laughs> come on. It's in the it's in the print, y'all. <laughs> I like that. Thank so you. tell me about you getting back into music when you decided that moment that you said I'm going back into music. When was that? What is so crazy is um, I don't know, like. Because my mom came to me and she was just like, yo, you're going backwards. So you're telling me you want to become a background dancer when you mm. pursued singing? So that always stuck with me. Like, And then like last year, I was just driving. I told my mom, I'm like, mom, I think I want to start singing again. And she was like, I don't believe it until I hear a song. Mm. Recorded a song 2 a.m. and it's been history ever since. Oh. Oh my God! See, mm -hmm. I like that your mom kind of was like she gave you that challenge. Yeah, she gave you kind of like that oomph to yeah, like she, get yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, she did. I like that. Yeah, thanks. Good. <laughs> so tell me about your single, your song that you recorded, Two AM, and then mm -hmm. tell me about the one that we are gonna be premiering. Absolutely. Uh, Two AM was my first song that I did by myself. Okay. And uh, featuring Aquan Wanye actually. Okay. And um, I dropped that. It did wonderful because at the time I wasn't really taking it like serious right. until I seen the results and I'm like yes. you know what I'm gonna really pursue this I want this to be a career, career. I like this so um, from then I had did other couple tricks and now I'm at Don't Wait shot okay. the video for Don't Wait and it's been history ever since I love that yeah. see and I really like when I heard the song I was like okay she's dope like she she really knows what she's doing mm -hmm. I feel like you know you put your soul in your songs yeah absolutely so you tell me to. like your songwriting process because you're like a writer too like you're yeah. a songwriter you're not just a, a singer you're a songwriter yeah. as well mm -hmm. tell me about that process so sometimes when I create uh, normally when I create a lot of my songs I be in my car okay Ooh, uh, okay. I listen to the beat I'll either create a narrative or sometimes I'll go based off of real life experiences. Okay. Or um, I'll create a fictional story. It doesn't really matter. Like but that. one thing about songwriting, I do like it because it's like painting a picture. So oh, I love it. For people to understand what you're trying to portray. I like that. Yeah. Okay. See, I like that you do it in your car because I feel like people go into that mode sometimes when they're mm -hmm. driving. Like, I know exactly what you mean, because, like, I yeah. used to be singing, look, I gave my best performances <laughs> in the damn car, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. So I like that. But it's different, though. I feel like with song, sing, not songers, with singers, um, there com there is a lot of songwriters that take part, because I do have songwriters, too, yeah, that wrote yeah. some of my songs. And, um, yeah, not as far as, like, rapping. I mean, you do have rappers who got songwriters, too, but, okay, like, yeah. singers, they have, it's a lot of songwriters. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. I love it. So tell me about your little bit of acting. Like, how's that been, how has that been yeah. developing? Yeah. yeah, I had my first film uh, during 
directed by Black De Niro. It's called Dope Girls. I play Ooh. Stephanie. And then okay. I, they just premiered another movie called What's Done After Dark. And I play Ivory. So check it yes. out on Tubi. Well, the other one, uh, What's Done After Dark, is not on Tubi yet. But Dope Girls is on Tubi. Okay, check out Dope Girls on Tubi, y'all. Come mm -hmm. on now. Directed by Black De Niro. Shout out to you. See, and we're we're do we're really interviewing a real triple threat here. Like, Absolutely. come on, y'all. Like, that's that's the trifecta right there. Like, I'm, I'm gonna remember I'm this face. Just see? remember this face. See, and Video City TV got the scoop first. That's what I like to see. <laughs> okay, so tell me about your new shows. I know you got some shows coming up soon, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I, well, I have one show. Okay. Um, right now, as an artist, for me, it's kind of hard finding shows. Um, got it. Yeah. But I have a show coming up on Wednesday, which is the 10th, and um, I'm going to be performing Don't Wait and my new unreleased song that's about nice. to drop. Nice. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. See, okay, period. And this is going to be in Philly? Yes. Okay. Philly. No, so I'm lie, I lie, I lie. It's going to be in Chester. In Chester, Chester okay. PA. Okay. Shout out the place so we can find you if we can go. Um, I don't know the exact place. I'm sorry, don't kill me. Uh, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, so. We'll figure it out. Let's follow you on the socials then. Where yeah, can follow we find me you? on Ria for Real everywhere. That's all platforms. R I A, the number four, and Real, like as in Reels on Instagram. R E E L. I love that. See, I like interviewing people that really have their, you know, I feel like your essence is like you know yeah. what you're here for, you know, like what your mm. your passion and your quality are. And I like that. Thank like, you. I, I like that immediately. And I like your energy. See, okay, period. I'm going to be on the same tip, y'all. <laughs> No, I love that so much. So, like, give me one more thing. I really want to know about, you know, your concept and, like, where you're going in your, your music career. Like, where do you think your your music is going to, you know, bring you? Because I know yeah. it's been resonating with people. Like, yeah. people, people like the shit. Like, yeah. it's amazing. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Like, tell me, like, how do you get into that process? How do you get into that thing to connect with so many people? Uh, that's, that's, um, what I can really say about that is, like, as I make music and as I, you know, the whole goal is to have people connect right. to my music, so that's the whole goal. But making music is like, it's like free. I never put myself in a box. Right. So I'll do whatever my mind, I can put my mind to. I so, like yeah. that. And you have a village behind you. I want to take a moment Absolutely. to shout out your crew. Can we see some hey, of y'all in the camera? Hey, Please bring, bring the crew hey, into the camera. Like, no, y'all is not coming away that easy. Uh, 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 not come trying on. to act shy come now. On. Come hey, on, come crew. Here. These my no, girls. She came in with the posse. Like, These we have to girls. shout out the girlies. Like, come on. Y'all know what this is. Say hey, y'all. Look at these beautiful look. Black queens. Black queens. <laughs> black queens. <laughs> black queens. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what it is. <laughs> shout out to Rhea For Real. Shout out to her posse. Thank you. Y'all heard of your first Video City TV. Signing out. Your favorite Pisces with the problem. Luna B. We'll see y'all later. Y'all better tap in. Tap in. Tap in. <laughs> When are you gonna get out this life? Both of our careers is going up. This straight shit is not it no more. I'm tired of waiting. Come on, man. I don't feel like going through that right now. I'm talking about all that. And now this one. I don't wanna wait for your love. So strange.